Hi everyone, just looking to see who's here. It's Saturday night. Are you ready to have a glass of wine with me and talk a little trash? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in, spend a little time with me, grab a glass of wine or coffee, tea, or your favorite water, and we're gonna get ready, have a glass of wine talk a little trash. So anyway, I pulled out this because um, last week for Easter, I had pull, pulled out one of my Saraceni wines that I think I bought last April, and it was the uh, strawberry champagne, and it was, I think it was kind of like right on the verge. It didn't have that many bubbles, and um, usually with the ones that I've opened so far, I've been able to put a cap on them, and a few days later, it, it's nice and fresh. This one, the next day, I went to have some with, with breakfast, have a little brunch, and it was like totally flat, so I ended up throwing it out, and this was the, this one, and I think it, it was just... It was just probably meant to be enjoyed soon after. So this one was the strawberry champagne from Saracini Wines. So this one is a pink Moscato. And so I figured I might as well get these ones done. And that way, if they're bad, I can dump them down the drain and I uh, get them out in the trash this week because it's recycle week. And I always like to have the guys uh, wonder what's going on and save all my bottles for, you know one week. I have to save them up for a while. So anyway, so if this one is bad, we'll just throw it out. And um, if it's good, we will just enjoy it. So this one is a Saraceni. And I think I bought them last April. I'm really not sure. I bought like eight bottles or something. I had free shipping. It was like 30% off and then another 25% off. And when I had them, when they were new, they were good. So again, this one is the Amor Del Vino. It shipped to me from Italy. Shipping was free and it was even faster than some things coming from the United States to you. So anyway, we are going to try this and uh, get ready for the pop. And it's not coming out, so that's a good sign. I've never had this before. It is bubbly, so that's a good sign. So let's hope it still tastes nice and fresh. It's a very, very pale pink. Bubbles, the effervescence didn't really last too long. So we'll see. Cheers, everyone. Happy Saturday night. I think it's just right on the verge. I don't think this will be good in the morning. I don't think I'm going to be able to cap it and have it stay fresh. So um, probably after that glass, I will end up dumping it down the drain. And if I buy from them again, I'll just know to drink it right away. Okay, so you might as well start with the bottles and get them out of the way, right? So this one was from um, my vinyl box. So this was probably the one that came in February. It was the New Crush Moscato. And this one was nice. It was like apples and pears and sweet wine. It was really, really good. Not too sweet, kind of like just right. This one you saw me open not too long ago. This was the Lakeside Chardonnay uh, from Winehaven. This was a nice dry Chardonnay. It was buttery. It was velvety soft, kind of like a vanilla kind of taste. It was really better than I expected it to be. I would definitely uh, buy this again. This one, it wasn't one of their most expensive wines. Most of their wines are around $18. I think this one was around $30, and then they have some like $40, and the aged ones go a little bit higher than that, but I would definitely get this again. I think that was a really nice dinner wine to have if you're having a light dinner and having some friends over. And um, this other one was from Wink. It's the Chop Shop. And I've been throwing out my bottles because I've been peeling off my labels and I haven't peeled the labels off this one yet. So this one was the Chop Shop. This was a nice Cabernet Sauvignon from Wink, from Wink, W-I-N-C, my wine club. It was like dark cherries and plums and raspberry vanilla. Um, you know, most Cabernet Sauvignons are on the dry side. This one was more like semi-sweet on the sweeter side of semi-sweet. It was really, really good. I would definitely, um, you know, if they had that in my box for them to recommend it for me again, I would definitely get it again. 
Alrighty, so I don't have a lot to do, but I thought I might as well grab some, seeing how it's Saturday night and we're talking trash. I and mean, if you can't talk trash with your girlfriends, who can you talk to? Cheers, everyone. Alrighty, so I was going to save all these for Mask Monday. When I said I have been masking like for three weeks straight now, doing um, sheet masks every other day and um, doing different masks in between, like peel off mud mask, exfoliating mask. So this is kind of like the array of different mask, sheet masks that I've been using. So um, yeah, I've been enjoying these. I mean, the Purely Spant brand right here, this is definitely one of my favorite ones. Um, we had this Dragon Blood Eye Mask, love that. My eyes really felt good. I did a foot mask this week, really felt nice. This one, um, it's a wild rose, um, and it was kind of like a gel. It was just kind of like some of those rubbery eye masks. It was that kind of texture, but it really did feel nice. The rose water one, a lot of these are from Face Story. Um, they just really felt nice. Most of these ones, um, cherry blossom, they just had so much essence left over. I did one this morning. And there's so much essence and I put essence on after I took it off. I put some on a little bit later and after I wash my face tonight, I'm going to use the rest of the essence that's in there. So I love having leftover essence, but having fun doing all these sheet masks. I've got some Scentsy in here. So I went through one of their bathroom cleaners. Love this. This foams. I actually even used it on my carpet. I've like, got white carpets upstairs. I have no idea why. We were going to rip it all out one year and put in wood. We didn't get around to it. So, um, yeah, like that time that I had that blueberry champagne in here and it kind of overflowed a little. Yeah, I got some on the floor. But I sprayed that bathroom cleaner on it. I let it soak overnight and then just patted it. It all came up. And I got some fabric softener from Scentsy. This one is the clothesline. Love this. Why I don't have ma matching ones, I don't know. And my laundry liquid from Scentsy is the Jammy Time. I love both of those. So I used up those. I finished, and I've been trying to use the same perfume every day to get rid of some bottles. And I finally did. So this is one from Vera Wang. This one really does smell nice. I used all that. This is probably five years old. I don't know. I finally used it. Uh, this. I didn't finish it. There's quite a few left bit in here of this lip oil. And my lips were so, so bad. And I thought it was the different meds that I was taking and then just the dryness from winter. But I had got a couple of these KAB oils and some other oils and I was just putting them on every few minutes and my lips were not getting any better. They were getting rough. I, I mean, it was chapped on here. You probably thought that I had a Botox or something because they were just swollen and chapped all the way around. And I was watching um, Casey has terrible videos. I always forget how she does it. She's a very smart lady, Casey. But anyway, she does videos and terrible video skills, whatever. But anyway, she had mentioned when she had gone on a trip home, she had brought some of this KAB the lip oil with her as well and she just felt like it wasn't working that there was no reason for her lips to be as chapped as they were so I think I had gone through like five of these and it wasn't getting any better but I just figured it was the meds I was on so I stopped using this went back to like my regular Bl Blistex and it cleared right up so I'm not finishing that, and I will never buy that KAB lip oil again. I have no idea if that was really it or not, but um, I had switched to using just this regular Blistex. You usually get them like in Walmart at the, the checkout, like three or five or something in a case, cheap enough, and it worked much better than the lip oil. I have this um, Petite and Pretty Mascara. And it came in one of the boxes. I did finish using this. So I love getting these little sizes because you you know you're not you're gonna go through them within six months and you know that you can get rid of them without them going bad once the air gets in. Um, this was Dr. Brandt. This also would have come in one of the subscription boxes. Could have been Ipsy, could have been Boxy Charm, but it was a primer, a luminizer prizer 
primer it did have like a little bit of glow not as much as the glow of the primer I have on today but I did enjoy using it like I said sometimes when I'm working from home I'll just kind of slap um, my moisturizer on um, maybe some serum or something in the morning and then if um, I feel up to it next time I go to the bathroom I'll throw some primer on or something and I'm good to go this is just some um, Garnier fructose just some hair oil sleek and shine it seems to work better than some of the ones that we get in the boxes that are very expensive so I, I know I would buy that again this was a KW a kiwi some kind of serum here eye serum and I did use all that like I said you know I don't know if they're really doing anything for me because it's like we see ourselves in the mirror every day so if you, there are changes it's going to be kind of gradual I mean there was one time maybe nine months ago or something like that and I had just kind of got into this regimen I had been I had lost weight I was drinking a lot of water I was exercising I was getting into the skincare and I looked in the mirror and I thought oh my skin looks my complexion looks kind of good and I was like, hmm, maybe it kind of all does tie in together. But then you kind of forget about it. And then you just look normal like you always do. So maybe there are changes that you don't notice. And people that see you every day wouldn't notice. But if you stop using it, are you going to revert too? So yeah, it's like you're afraid to stop. So this one was another cream. H2O Plus or something. This one came in a box. So I, this is, it's a small size. So it could have been. Maybe it could have even been the regular Ipsy Glam bag. So, I, I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, but if I got it again, I would use it. This was very funny looking. So this uh, was a jelly moisturizer. Wishful. Honey Bomb. This one really felt nice. It was like a gel. It was cooling. I think I, yeah, there's nothing left in here. But it was just really, really nice. Um, I don't know which box this one came in, but if it came up again in one of the pop-ups or something, I would definitely grab it. I did love using that. It's got a nice kind of lavender-y type smell too. This was Hair Apology, a leave-in treatment spray. So this probably came in one of the boxes too. So this would be something I would just kind of spray in on my hair um, either after I shower or if one day that maybe I, I didn't wash my hair. Sometimes I just wet it because I don't want to overwash it and then maybe just put something like this in. I didn't really notice any more difference than I would using this. So so there's that. I did finish using one of my Bare Minerals. This Complexion Rescue. And this I get from QVC. The shade I get here is Vanilla. So I get um, this on auto delivery every couple of months and um, kind of alternates. And then I get the one from IT Cosmetics there. Um, that one I like too. That one's got an SPF of 50. This one's also got a nice SPF in it as well. So I do enjoy getting those on auto delivery. This one would have come from a one of the boxes. And well, I don't really know what it is, but... I probably did at the time. Whether it's an eye serum, it probably would have been an eye serum or something being this, this small. Oh, it isn't. I didn't use it. Maybe that's why I don't remember. Maybe, I think maybe this was in one of my face stories and I took it out of the bag and left it in the kitchen and figured, oh, this must be empty and tossed it in there. Yeah, so I'm not done with that. You do not belong in the empty. Sorry I left you on the kitchen counter for so long. You gotta apologize to these things. And the last thing in here, and since he stopped making bath bombs a while ago, but I had stocked up. Not that I knew that they were going away. I just kind of always, I got them in like the, the whip boxes. And when they went on sale, I would grab different things. So I used one this past week, the Amazon Rain love the scent I don't think it doesn't the color of the water I mean, it was kind of like a greenish yellow type thing so the s s colors in the water aren't that great but the scent is amazing you use one of these bath bombs your skin just feels it I mean it's got aloe in it and sunflower oils and it's got all these vitamin E and aloe and oh it just feels incredible your skin just feels so moisturized the bathroom just has the scent for like days afterwards 
but they don't make them anymore. I think I've got five different bath bombs left, so I'm excited to use those. So that was the empties. I know. After saving them for years and years and years, I'm finally going through them. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. Yeah, I don't think this is going to last till morning. I think whatever I don't finish and this is going to get dumped. It's got some effervescence, but I think it's probably flatter than it would have been. And it's been in my wine cooler. But I think when you get the thing and it says drink now, I think they meant that literally. So cheers, everyone. I hope you guys go out, enjoy the rest of the weekend, and we will all chat again soon. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.